marriage evening. As we have, we have come to the end of the long journey. The American people have spoken, and they have spoken for it. What a I had the nerve call Senator Barack Obama to congratulate him. This campaign has been. His success alone commands my respect for his ability and perseverance. But that he managed to do so by inspiring hopes of so many millions of Americans who once wrongly believed that they had little at stake or little influence in the election of an American president is something I deeply admire and commend him for achieving. This is an historic election. And I recognize the special sequence it has an tonight. I've always believed that America offers opportunities to the that the industry will to seize it. Senator Obama believes that too. But we both recognize that though we have come a long way from the old injustices, once in reputation, and denied some Americans the full blessings of American citizenship, the memory of them still had the power to wound. A century ago, President Theodore Roosevelt's invitation of Bookton to, to dine at the White House was taken as an outrage in many quarters. America today is a world away from the cruel and prideful bigotry of that time. There is no better evidence of this than the election of an Amer African American to the presidency of the United States. for any American to fail to cherish their citizenship in this, the greatest nation on earth. <laughs> Senator Obama has achieved a great thing for himself and for his country. I applaud him for it and offer in my sincere sympathy that his beloved grandmother did not live to see this day. Though our faith assures us she is at rest in the presence of her Creator, and so very proud of the good man she helped raise. Senator Obama and I have had an order of differences, and he has prevailed. No doubt many of those differences remain. These are difficult times for our country. And I pledge to him tonight to do all in my power to help him lead us through the many challenges we face. I urge all Americans who supported me to join me in not just congratulating him, but offering our next president our goodwill and earnest effort to find ways to come together to find the necessary compromises to bridge our differences and help restore our prosperity, defend our security in a dangerous world, and leave our children and grandchildren a stronger, better country than we inherited. Whatever our differences, we are fellow Americans. And please believe me when I say no association has ever meant more to me than that. It's natural tonight to feel some disappointment, but tomorrow we must move beyond it and work to get a country moving again. We fought, we fought as hard as we could, and though we fell short, the failure is mine, not yours. I am so... to all of you for the great honor of your support and for all you have done for me. I wish the outcome had been different, my friends. The road was a difficult one from the outset, but your support and framework, I cannot adequately express 
how deeply I indebted I am to you. I am especially grateful to my wife, Cindy, my children, my dear mother, my dear mother and all my family, and to the many old and dear friends who have stood by my side through the many ups and downs of this long campaign. I have always been a fortunate man, and never more so, for the love and encouragement you have given me. You know, campaigns are often harder on a candidate's family than on the candidate, and that's been true in this campaign. All I can offer in compensation is my love and gratitude and the promise of peaceful you. I am also, I am also, of course, very thankful to Governor Sarah Palin, one of the best. Thank you. 